So, you may be wondering how I did that. You may be wondering how I managed to improve my first DPV by 10 in like essentially one day. Which like, you're not even getting the full picture right here. Uh, that is, the 28 is simply my best attempt, but like, yesterday, which is when I got the 28, I also got a 26 uh, and I got two 24s and a 20. Today. I got. I played for like 15 minutes. I got a. Tw I got a 25. I got another 20 and 22. And I'm just generally more consistent at first use, uh, because of a new method I found. I like to call it uh, three frame first use, which is kind of a silly name, but I really cannot think of anything better. So that's what's gonna what's that's what the name is gonna be it's not like it's the first time that a first the method is giving a stupid name at first and then like replaced like for example ee literally called them fast walk x nobody calls them that anymore when the pos when the original post buffer method was discovered it was called cases consistent firsties literally nobody says that term i've only heard it like the first two days of it existing so how does the new method work? Well, first you long jump into the wall, of course. And then you don't do that. You, you, you absolutely don't do that. So, the way the method works is pretty much the same as the original pause buffer method. You just press A and hit the wall at the same time. And press start. I forgot about that part, which is like the essential part of it. You press A, A and start, like, at the same time that you hit that you hit the wall, and you'll end up with like one of three cases, depending on what frame you hit you press the buttons on. So as you may have heard there, when I pressed pause, there's a bonk sound. If you hear a bonk sound like this, that means that you're one frame away from the wall, which means that you can unpause and then immediately press A. And you'll get the first C. Um, then one thing you do have to keep in mind with that uh, with a like uh, frame though, is that if you do it too fast, like this for example, you're gonna end up pressing both buttons like start and A on the same frame, which will like not give you a walk kick at all. It's uh. You just have to sort of get used to it. It's one of the biggest issues I tend to have when going for that. So just don't worry if you are not considering it. It'll, you will improve. Next case is that's the same. I'm not good at like getting a specific ma the specific um, frame I want. So it's like you don't need to be good at like, getting the specific frame you want as long as you know how to do all three. You're good. I think that's too early. Never mind, that was actually the, the correct frame. I think this might work. I'm not sure if I'm like maybe one frame too far. It doesn't matter right now. I'm just trying to explain. But like there, I paused and there was no bonk sound, which means that I'm like two frames away from the wall. It could be more. Uh, it could be f three in this case, but like just if you're um, 
if you're not touching the wall, just assume that it's two because you're going for a three frame input. If you hit A plus start outside of the three frame input, it's just like you just shouldn't get it at that point, pretty much. But like, let's pretend that uh, the, the this is two frames away. So you want to just like unpause, then wait for one frame, and then press A. Okay, yeah, that was three frames away, like I, like I said. That looks more like two. Never mind, that was also three. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's just hard to intentionally get it. It's so dumb. Never mind, I, I just keep getting the. I, I just keep getting the one frame away thing. Thing is, like, I can't, like, try to input, like, one frame. Oh, hey, there, I got it. So yeah, that's two frames away, so just unpause, wait one frame, press A. Like that. And then the last one is just the easiest. Uh, that's one frame away. Also one frame away. There. That's the easiest because you can just like hold A and it will unpause and... Um, it will unpause and... Um, Give you the first team. Now, for the main issue with this strat, because there is a major issue with this strat, if you are on the original Dream Edition, you will notice that this doesn't work. There is simply no bonk sound. That bonk sound does not exist in a lot of hacks. In newer hacks, that bonk sound will exist and be like very clear. For example, Fractured Multiverse, which is the hack that uh, a lot of people are making right now does have the bonk sound. Star Revenge 8, um, 1.3 doesn't have the bonk, the bonk sound, 1.4 does. Integration of Fragments has it. Uh, LD has it, it's not here, but whatever. And that's basically the main issue. Some hacks have it and some don't. And the hacks that have it are the ones that have um, the tweak enabled to keep music playing while the game is paused. So for example, this game, you, you will see that the game, like, the, the music keeps playing even though I pause the game. That means that the bonk sound will be there. Meanwhile, in Dream Edition, um, if I pause the game, the music will stop, which makes it so that the bonk sound will no longer be there. That is definitely a big issue with the um, with the new method, and what I have to say about it is um, I think personally we should allow a certain cheat code to be used in older hacks. To may to make it so that this behavior is replicated. This is the cheat code. Might as well paste it in the description so that people can try it out for th for themselves. Um, and yeah, that makes it so that music will keep playing while the game is paused, and you get the audio cue for the first team. Um, I am aware that. Some people will think that it shouldn't be allowed. Some people will think that it should. It's gonna be like a whole like discussion probably. 
uh, but I think that it will make the game more enjoyable in the in the long run, especially given the fact that um, this is mostly applicable in hacks uh, like Dream Edition and Black Virus, which notably have um, which notably have the first use as an issue, which is like the reason why m some people just hate them, you know. Well, I mean, Blackwire is just ter terrible in general, I don't know why, why I even brought it up, but like, Dream Edition is just like... It's... a decent game, but... it does have that one turn off for some people, and I think this will help, help alleviate it. And then the other hack where this would probably help a lot is like, Extreme Edition. Because like, there's Boss of Quicks and Pit, there's Cliff of Pain, there's... I guess Crudello, if you... Want to go for the first CN MVP? Um, those are the two main hacks, like Dream Edition and Black and not Black Dream Edition and EE are the two main hacks where this would help. So I really don't believe that this is like something that shouldn't be allowed, simply because it just makes the game more fun. For everyone, I believe, and there, it's not like it breaks everything. It's not like it's like the most huge advantage, because like there is at the end of the day a limited a limited amount of first season of the games, and which is a good thing, <laughs> honestly, but. I think it would it would be nicer if people had a way to actually use skill to get past them instead of having to rely on things that just aren't really anything you can rely on. Like here's an example I've been sending people. How many frames away from the wall is Mario here? If you said two, if you said one, you're wrong, because on the next frame, Mario will still not hit the wall. He's two frames away, <laughs> and this is what people rely on when doing the original puzzle offer method. Just like trying to decipher how many frames away Mario is from the wall and hoping that he is one. Well, like. Just like using their eyes for it. And it's like kinda sad. But yeah. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you understood. And I hope this new method will help someone. Because, yeah. It's something that will probably be nice to have. Nice. I've been good at the game. <laughs>